Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to something a little bit more along the normality of my channel. Um, I did manage to get out to a boot fair at the weekend. Uh, I was hoping to actually go to two. One of the better ones, what I'd normally go to, uh, was supposed to be on at the weekend, but they called it off due to all the rain. Uh, a little bit of a shame because actually when it ended up they'd called it off a couple of days beforehand and when it actually got to the day it was actually alright so I was a bit annoyed um, that they never made that decision a little bit nearer but uh, did get to one that uh, has been sort of carrying on uh, have been to it uh, previously already this year uh, and I will show I did get one thing um, well, it's actually several things, but it's one actual item which I did pick up um, on the previous week. Um, but this week I actually did have some reasonable success uh, with my boot fair hunting for robots and such. And not so much Transformers, although there are Transformers. But the other things I picked up are very close to Transformers and actually I kind of was hoping to come across these sort of things while I've um, been doing my boot fair hauls. Um, I do remember these from a kid, um, pretty much all but a couple of individual little items and one bot. Everything else is quite vintage so it's a good haul and for the most part are in good nick and reasonably complete. Now I will start with smallest items of um, non transform reef bits. Now this guy is the only one what's more so incomplete of something what's a, sort of more of a main part. And it's one of the Robo Machines Go Bots and it's the blue helicopter one. Um, not sure on all the names, I know you guys out there are going to be able to tell me better what their names are. I have had a look on the internet but I haven't been able to actually find proper names uh, for some of these guys. Uh, but he's only really missing his propellers and a little bit off of almost like a little torpedo part on the side. But all in all in pretty good condition. Stickers are a little bit tatty but you know these things are from 1985 around that era so you're talking G1 era. But all in all still in pretty amazing condition uh, the little propeller on the back is all still complete as well as you will notice I've turned the autofocus off so it doesn't if that doesn't show up perfectly clear that's the reasons behind that but I thought rather than keep zooming in and out of focus it'd be better for a little haul vid but yeah so that was one of the bits I got that's the first bit to show you now the next one is again uh, Robo Machines Go Bot, effectively a transformer. Um, now I did look up this guy's name and for the life of me, I can't remember it offhand. But uh, he is in very nice condition. Uh, most of the chrome is pretty well still perfect. Even still got a lot of the original stickers, like the one on the spare wheel on the side of the car, and even like the band across the bonnet and that as well. And even on one door, you've still got the RM, which isn't again due to the old focus, isn't showing up too clear. But RM on the side there for Robo machines. So, really pleased to pick that up. And if I show you underneath, you can see a bit of visible head syndrome and the chrome. But again, lovely chrome and all the chest stickers and that all still there. So, again, really pleased with that. Really nice pickup. Rubber tyres, even on a car that small as well, which even don't think any of the actual Hasbro Transformers none of the wheels went down that small with rubber tyres on so pretty good detail on a figure that size now the next one up in size wise is a little bit later I found a date on him for I think it's 92 and it is made by Bandai but I'm not familiar with it at all so this is one I'm going to have to ask anyone else Maybe somebody who's slightly younger than me who may have been the era when this one came out, because this would have been around the G2 era when I was kind of 
phasing out of Transformers at that point. And uh, again, like I say, Bandai's are probably more GoBot, but a really nice bot. And I actually got this one in bot mode. Again, chrome is fantastic. The stickers are still in great condition. Um, the only real bit of damage is there's a little clip which is broken off. You can see the one on the other side, and there's just one that snapped off that side on the uh, fire engine t sort of turret turntable part, which sort of clips on the back. Um, but this guy really is quite a nice little bot, even though not the most sophisticated, but then by the G2 era, you know, there was some iffy stuff coming out from Hasbro as well. But again, a lot of die casts. The chrome parts on the legs are all die cast, and that runs right through to his feet. Um, nicely engineered in pretty much all the sort of general parts. Again, nice sticker detail on the sides. Sort of all of that is a chrome sticker. So yeah, really good. And being that it's actually stamp Bandai, I'm not guessing it's a knockoff. So I'm guessing this was maybe tail end of the GoBot line, um, but kind of nice. It it's a sort of cross between Inferno and Sentinel Prime because with the fire engine mode, very much similar to the front of Sentinel Primes. But yeah, really good, but completely unknown to me. Um, so like I say, if anyone can help me out with knowing which figure, what name that guy is, that'd be great. Now getting to the next ones, now this is where the size steps up a little bit and these guys again classic from the 80s, um, I actually haven't found dates on them, I must have a better look but I'm guessing this from memory this is about the 84-85 time when GoBots uh, were competing for Transformers for the G1 line. Now the first one is the bigger out of the next three and it's actually one I've been looking for now there is a piece that's missing a pin um, which I will try and repair I should be able to find something to replace it and it is missing an inner part what well, is on an arm but it doesn't detract too much from the actual figure and in its vehicle mode is fantastic and it's the vehicle mode which I really sort of like um, and it is a GoBot and it is the Space Shuttle one. I suppose you'd class this as a large deluxe sort of size figure equivalent today. All die cast on the front, really quite heavy at the front. A um, little bit of paint wear but next to nothing you know. Um, metal undercarriage again, harkens back to sort of like um, Jetfire from the G1 line in that way. But it's missing a pin which hinges the wing. A straightforward pin should be able to replace that. And the if I open up what would be the shuttle bay, as you can see inside that side you've got the black arm detail on the inside and on if I can get that the right way around. And on that side it's missing on the inside. It's literally just a screw on part. So if I come across a junker of these, I should be able to repair that no problem. But a lot of the stickers, as you can still see, Robo Machines is still all on there. But great figure, and this is going to fill in quite nicely. It's, although it's not quite right for scale, I was thinking that would do really nicely on my Countdown Micro Master Base as a replacement for the Galaxy Shuttle, which is monumentally expensive to get, and the likelihood of me picking one of them up is pretty slim. So I was thinking. That make quite a nice little shuttle replacement, um, and scale wise, it should fit reasonably well. But yeah, really pleased with that. Um, like I say, it is one of the GoBots that I've been hoping to find. And the next two were right up there on the list for GoBots I was looking for. And the first one is one I remember playing with a friend's one, I think it was back when. Uh, I suppose I was about 11, something like that, 11, 12 years old. Um, really nicely detailed, again, just like G1, heavily made with die cast and really nice detail. And I believe it's Baron Von something, um, offhand again, it's just slipped my memory. But fantastic. 
Cobot. Not the great greatest um, robot modes. Now this again harkens back to the G1 era. So again, this is kind of that sort of uh, ratchet and iron hide sort of dilemma where they took a toy line and made it sort of work for a sort of cartoon line. And these guys again, these sort of probably these moulds predate um, the actual GoBot sort of line. So again, they didn't have heads so much. It's more of the roof of the car which again is a little bit weird but then when you compare that to Ratchet and Ironhide's G1 era toy you kind of get where it's sort of coming from. Fantastic condition. He does have a tendency for part of it to detach but it's just due to a weak joint which I might be able to sort out um, with the actual roof and the rear section sort of like uh, just pops off but it will immediately just clip back on and you can display them perfectly well. Chrome wise and metal parts and paint parts as you can see underneath it's like it could have been manufactured sort of like last year. Um, even the rubber tyres are in fantastic condition and again this harkens back with G1 and these era toys that obviously copyrights may have been a lot more slack when they used to do these sort of toys but whereas Hasbro tyres on the G1 cars like the Minibots had Dunlop written on the sides of them. These have actually got even a tyre size written around the edge but are sponsored by Avon so they are actually a proper tyre make as well but again that attention to detail is just fantastic. I love that sort of detail um, but like I say when you consider that this toy is knocking on again beginning the G1 era so you're talking about 30 years old 29 30 years old that has stood the test of time so much better than the movie toys I see um, you see so many of the modern toys in bits I know they're more designed to pop apart and sort of go back together but these things were really built solid um, and again so was pleased to pick that up oh, and as you go you see how easy it is to actually <laughs> take it apart as well but yeah really pleased to get that and again this was all from the same seller as well I should point out um, he was obviously going through his loft and had sorted out and he even knew that these were original era toys but I suppose he was just happy that he was getting rid of them getting a few quid and maybe that they were going to a good home because he asked me you know do you realize that they're the old ones I said oh yeah you know so I like to collect them and didn't quibble sort of like with me and I will tell you the price I got all these for um, but again I get to the next one and this is the last of the go bots and again it is one that I'm hoping to pick up a little bit tatty again a little bit of paint wear but a tiny amount and it's the VW Golf uh, VW Golf VW Beetle sorry um, so like Bumblebee in that mode um, love it just for that in a sense because I do quite like the G1 Bumblebee movie one gets on me whip with all the toys but um, I just love the fact this is a real proper this feels like a proper die cast car from the era and again although there is plastic the whole front section is die cast metal you get chrome parts lovely details I mean the red on that is actually a sticker detail and yet that looks so fresh you'd think again it was made last week um, a little bit of chrome wear a bit like the Insecticons where you get a little bit of yellow showing through on the edges where it's worn but I don't care um, nothing actually damaged on this now I do believe that there was an odd little chrome weapon what came with these guys not really worried about that but just so much love the fact how accurate the actual vehicle modes are to the actual real toy uh, real car sorry in the toy mode for the vehicle and again it's sponsored tyres as well so really nice really like these um, and that's the last of the go bots but again like I say now I'm wondering this guy might have been that he's got a kid as well who he tried to introduce to Transformers because there was a couple of other 
transformers in there. Now the first one is a modern one, which makes me think somebody in the family might have you might have given these two for a kid to have a look at or play with, and maybe they just weren't interested because there was a power core combiner in there, and I believe that's Huffer, not the actual weapon mini console, what came with them. But it is all complete, other than that, and pretty good. I quite like it. It's a good little bot mode, and just generally quite a nice little transformer. So pleased to pick that up. And in the bottom of the box with all these go bots, um, and there's a few other odds and ends sort of toys. Nothing I really was interested in. Um, there's a couple of transformers. Now it's not unusual to come across the old G1. And they are a little bit sort of sticker worn or stickers are missing. But it's quite unusual to find them with some accessories. And I did actually pick up one of the Stunticons with his cannons, which weren't actually attached to him. It was actually in the box separately. None of the individual little guns, unfortunately. But I did get Wild Rider with his cannon. And I also got First Aid, and again, with his cannon, which is a little bit loose. And should be a little bit stiffer than that, but both of them are in fantastic condition. Like I say, missing some stickers, or maybe they were never put on. But other than that, these guys are nigh on like brand new, so amazingly chuffed. Again, the guy, if these were his as a kid, which he was similar age to me, so I'm guessing so, he did look after him to a fair degree, so he obviously didn't abuse them too much, and they're not that damaged. And that's sort of the last of the haul. Now that lot came to a grand price of four pounds, which, to be honest, you ain't going to get that anywhere else. Um, certainly not on the likes of eBay or something like that. So it's a really good find, and really refreshing for me. It's like with the GoBots because I've got a few, but I'm sort of picking them up when I see a sort of decent condition one and that. And it's quite refreshing in a way because they're vintage. So it really sort of gets back to the whole G1 era for me, uh, where I was growing up. But it also is new, because I didn't have these as a kid, although I was aware of some of them. Um, it's like getting a new toy, so it's that new toy sort of joy, but vintage. So that's really nice. And I'm not going to begrudge getting even like the Power Core Combiner. I'm certainly not going to begrudge getting some of the uh, Scramble City combiners with accessories as well because the whole sort of thing is when I do get to do some of my um, display in the man cave when I finally get around to moving um, it will be the case that sort of like I can have a few in bot, bot mode, individual bot mode or combiner mode but also vehicle mode if I get pick up some odd sort of like doubles and that so yeah really pleased to pick them up now the last bits the first of which I'll show you I picked up was the last week and in a packet nobody knew what they were everyone was sort of ignoring them but I actually picked up and I think it must have been the original packet because it was still sealed with sellotape though it was a bit waterlogged I found the complete missile set for Unicron so really nice find. I have actually got Unicron complete. Um, not boxed, but I have got, got him complete. But I just think having some spares of these might be a really good idea, because if I remember rightly, last time I had him out, these do tend to shoot out all over the place. And this thing has, is his chest missile, and that really does have a tendency to sort of pop out when you really don't want it to, and fire off. And If I'm right, they tend to play up, so having a spare one of them what might not play up is quite handy or even I could adapt it so I make sure it doesn't fire out when it's not supposed to so yep really pleased to pick those up um, I think I'm right in thinking there's only six of them on his legs uh, three on each side but yeah anyway fantastic to get them um, always nice to pick up the accessories and talking of accessories I found a gun nothing amazing or rare but I've got the figure which I have a sort of shown it was on one of my other haul vids minus the missile which isn't the end of the world 
but I actually managed to pick up Universe Silverbolt's gun. Now there was actually the Universe Silverbolt there as well, um, but a bit tatty. And as I said, I've already got him in his perfect condition anyway, the one I've got. But the guy was quite happy to let me just sort of take the gun in with the lot and have that so that I could actually complete the toy. So, always good. And that's about it. Um, the only other thing I did pick up, I suppose I could show you, for those older guys out there, you'll probably remember it. And for a grand pri price um, last week of 50p, I did, just on a whim, pick up quite a funny annual. Um, I got myself a Banana Man annual. Now, 50p for this wasn't really going to break the bank and it is like brand new inside um, I don't know if I can get it in shot to show you it's literally like I've picked it off a shelf in a bookshop today, you know, being sold brand new but vintage again and that is if I remember rightly from 84 as well so another thing that's 30 years old um, it still looks pretty good but that's about it so that's the only bits I've managed to pick up so far uh, since I last did a vid, which was, I think was last week. Um, as far as the move goes, everything seems to be going along okay. Still don't have a date yet, though we have been getting some bits for the house. Um, things like ordering our bed and stuff like that, so that we can uh, get ourselves settled as soon as we get the date and get moved in. Um, unfortunately, still haven't got to the stage where I can actually sort of bring collection stuff out I make a big pile to show you just how difficult a move it's going to be for me. Um, if I can't arrange it so that I can do that with having the computer and everything ready to film, if I can't do it, say, using my mobile phone or something like that, it might have to wait. And what I'll do is, when we do move, I'll film inside the man cave where all the stuff will be stacked and stored ready for as I can get that sorted out. And that might give you probably a better idea just how much stuff because it'll be a bit more lumped together in one place. But uh, I'll see what I can do on that score. But that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. Um, like I say, in the next couple of weeks, if I do get any other hauls in the meantime, I'll pop a vid up like I am now. But with any luck, if I can get moved in quite soon, There'll be a period where the internet's obviously going to be cut off where I won't be able to do any films. Um, so, although I might be able to comment through using computers at work and stuff like that on other people's vids or on things like Facebook and that, um, if there's a bit of a break for a few weeks, that'll be the reason why. And hopefully I shall be back bigger and better at that point. But, uh, yeah that's about it for now um, thanks for watching um, if you're new to this vid uh, if you haven't seen any of my others please feel free to go back through I think this is my 300th upload um, though I don't know if that counts for some what went a bit wrong and I deleted and um, I did take a couple down which weren't as worried about keeping up so like I say I think this is the actual proper 300th upload so hopefully I shall see you for the 301st anyway like I say thanks for watching and I'll see you again